All right, so I'm here with my friend, Miss Michelle, and her daughter. And we are here at KHMH. KHMH. And your granddaughter, critically ill. Yes, she's critically ill. Explain to us what happened. Well, what happened is um, my granddaughter started having loose desire about her body. And my daughter is always working, so I'm the babysitter for her. I'm mm. always taking care of them. And um, I noticed the bruises. Just in ceremony, I noticed it before. But we never thought of nothing, you know. They just, you know, sometimes people that see maybe a nose touch. That's what we thought. Mm -hmm. We start seeing bruises more and more pronounced. So the bruises just appear upon your skin. Just appear. Really don't like nobody knock on. Don't, don't like it fall. Don't. don't, don't, don't those don't bruises just show up on your skin. Yes, sir. So we took her to the doctor to um, get checked up out to see what that is. But it caused any bruises. Uh -huh. And the doctor said we had to do some blood tests. So we just uh, took her back to. The I took her back to the blood test mm -hmm. and do the blood work. And when I got the blood result, the first blood result, and I took her to the doctor, the doctor told me that she couldn't find anything wrong with the blood results. So I had asked my daughter to come and check the result for me because my daughter is a nurse here. She asked her second opinion. Yes, for a second opinion. And my daughter said, Mom, on this result, is telling her that the platelets is too low. Mm -hmm. So you have to run at the hospital and admit her. Mm -hmm. And exactly what she told us is what they Came did. to pass. Exactly. So the platelets was low. Was and they had to admit her because of the dangerous levels. She was admitted for one week. Admitted for one week. Go ahead. And two days. Two yes. days. For them to build up back her platelets. They said, giving her steroids to bring it up back. And, and did, it go, it did it go back? Yes, it brought up. The steroids help me go back again. What do like, One week can change again. Drop back drastically. Really low and she has to come back to the doctor. And now they are saying that they don't know what's causing it because now she has developed and her, and one of her, I think it was her left leg starting to get like stiff on her. Mm -hmm. So that's why we bring her back mm -hmm. because it started to get stiff. And how old, old is, a, is her again? She's, she's nine, 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 nine years, years old, right? You mean go to school and everything? Yes, yeah, she's in school. school where do you go? Wesley. Wesley Primary, primary School. school yes. Lower School. Okay, go ahead. And um, we brought her when they started to complain, and my legs hurting me, and my fingers starting to get stiff, and I rub her fingers because I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. causing it with a little ice and thing. Mm -hmm. And when I, my I asked my daughter again, and she said, Ma, I'm not a doctor. Mm -hmm. I brought her back here, and the doctor admitted her right away again, because what we found out was that it's gone way too low again. So a lot of the cause is stiffness. And blood cell is way too high. So it's so imbalance. Then, yes. It's a high because it's trying to fight off the in, whatever they know. Whatever is causing what's going on with her. So the doctor is saying they are going to take some tissues from her to see if it's cancer. Okay, because my. Because they cannot discover what's wrong. But because it's it. it to go that no, let me tell me earlier that because of your daughter being here, they look after your daughter, you end up to lose the job, are you? Yes. They send her home? She lost her job. They terminate her? Yes, yeah. they send her home. What happened? Tell me. Because your picnic, your picnic sick. Yes. So you look after your picnic. I texted in and they told me that um, well, whenever the babies um, get discharged or feel better, you can come back to work. Yes. Come like apply on a new family. Because I was just like. How much years I had then? So I month. was just starting. Oh, you mean just start I the had, job? I had um, yes, like say that I was I was off training and everything. Uh huh. And I was supposed to start the Monday, I would come off training and everything, and that's when it happened on Monday. Did you get sick? I was sick? supposed to start, yes. I was working at EPO before that day. Okay. Yes. Uh, I had to bring my baby in, so I sort of go on the first day of action. Work. So the struggle now really get real now because you lose your leave income, and then mommy you work? I'm not working, and my granddaughter doesn't have Very, a very Dad sick. Passed away. Her father passed away. He was killed. He was killed. On violence, yes, sir. and now the baby sick critically. Right now, as we speak, the baby in the ICU. Right now, she's in intensive And care. you can't go in without a mask because they don't want to transmit nothing that because the, the immune system is very weak. So very weak. We keep she's her in the only ICU. She's eating soft foods right now, so she mm -hmm. can't eat anything hard. We can't touch her too hard because we're bruised. I know. So we can't hug her. Nothing at all right now. So what's the plan for our? So we wanna try to see how we could get her to take her. So maybe married her somewhere out there where they could assist us. Because mm -hmm. that's what they told, her, told me. Yeah. What is it? They, they told me that the, the, best stero thing. the steroids are helping her. But if it continues to go like that and they can't figure what it is, I need to take her out, out country, country to figure okay. out what I it is. I want to pump the camera. Marida, Guatemala. 
anywhere around the gas is thanks to the and we would appreciate it. Because we don't really... First time in our life with a diesel like this? First time. First time. I'm a poorly baby nine years old. Yes, we could yes. barely talk for himself. Can't even help yourself. Yeah, so you have to depend on how we try to save your life. Correct. Yeah. We, we believe in God. We're God-fearing people. And um, we know God is in control. But we also have to try help ourselves. I agree. To see what we can I agree. Do. And when you call me, I tell her to come right but I have a fun. That's why I decided to come today and I keep the word and be here because I don't like to pick this up. I'm very grateful. She yeah. is she's tired of being up here. Huh? And she's tired of being up here and she's tired of here. Them she said, you said? Yes. She's like, um, I don't want to see her. Then they bore up every minute needle. Yes. Every minute. I'm going home. Yeah. Does she have a passport, the baby? No, she doesn't have a passport. We're trying to, we're only trying to get her a passport for her. So only one, eh? Emergency passport, where, like two, $200? Correct. Alright. We really need assistance in the best way But you guys have a passport, though. For the passport, good to I travel? Do. I don't have that. You don't have no passport, neither? I don't. My goodness. And in a case of emergency like this, you need the passport. If you need to run, go to the next place to seek medical attention. So we need two emergency passports $200. at $200 each. Yes. And we also want to ask if anyway anybody could assist us, you know, because we're not going to cast finance. We're going to cast finance to travel to Merida. Yeah. I need places to stay, I need money to eat, I need to pay a doctor. Everything that car, everything that money, at the end of the day, I will have poor people. We are, we don't have the finance like that at all. So we're asking for assistance in any way possible. What do you want to number? Mine is 627 to 591 and hers is 623 6000. Say it again. 623 6000. 623 6000. Alright, so folks, if you want to watch, these are the, the granny and the daughter. And their daughter, they, their granddaughter, they're in, they're in an ICU right now. And they want to get down to Merida as quick as possible. So you can get the help where you need the picnic tire at the United States. You say right? Yes. She also has to get a surgery on the leg for the Because abscess. I'm a big abscess to go up and think. Rough. And the, the surgeons don't want to really do the surgery as yet because they're scared that she might bleed out. Because it, it, the touch time get bruised. Scared, man. All right, one more time, repeat the number again. My number is 620-7591. Ah. Uh, Six twenty-three, six thousand. Last, last appeal to the people and please help them. Eh? Okay, I'm, I'm asking everyone out there, you know, if it's possible, if I could please kindly help my granddaughter and help the family so we can get her and get to see what medical treatment elsewhere. Seek medical treatment elsewhere for her. All right then. I'll keep. I'll, I'll stay in touch. If I hear anything, I'll call her right away. Okay. Yes. Sir. And we can know what happened. Yes. But we need the emergency passport pronto. Right, and whatever other donations come in will be used towards traveling, traveling and getting to Merida, pay expenses. Alright, so we're going with that. Thank you. Alright.